Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I just came back from a two weeks vacation and as you can see now my desk is full with new items that are waiting to be reviewed. Since it's going to take me a while to catch up, in this video I'm going to quickly go over these items and in case you have any questions or suggestions for the upcoming review, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. So first of all I've got some new GNB 1300 and 2200 4S Lyper batteries. Their C rating is relatively low, however so far I had a very good experience with GNB batteries and I'm looking forward to see how they're going to perform. Next I've got the DJI Osmo Action Camera, which I'm going to compare with the GoPro 7 Black. I also got a big shipment of frames from FlexRC and here you can find the Ascent X 5 inch frame, the Ninja and the Ninja Bat 3 inch frames and the Kologu 4 inch frame. Please let me know which frame interests you the most and I'm going to feature it in the build video. Next from Rush FPV I've got the Cherry SMA and NM6 antennas and also these stick heads which are compatible with either JR, Futaba and Spectrum or M9 X12S gimbals and the reason that I decided to get them is because I have very similar ones on my Jumbo T16 and I find that they provide an excellent grip and they are very comfortable to use. Next from Gap RC I've got the new Spen Pro Tower and the Gap 12 Ampere F4 flight controller slash ESC. From Dayton I've got the new F7 mini tower and from iFlight the SuxX Twin G flight controller and in case you are not aware I'm also giving it away so you can find the giveaway video over here. I also finally got the Cadex Tarzer along with the ND8 filter. I actually got two of these cameras and I'm also going to compare them side by side using different settings. Next I've got this beautiful RC in power GTS V2 1506 4300 kV motors which I'm going to bench test and feature in a build video. Next I've got the VFly cam switcher, the new FXT ARFS long range VTX, IMR 18650 3100 mAh lithium ion batteries, a UAV carbon fiber repair kit, a new GPS and compass module from AJRC, and on the upcoming review I'm also going to explain about the GPS feature, show you how to add it to a flight controller, and I'm also going to speed test the AJRC Wind 5. I also got the new Afro Sky X Lite Pro and X9 Lite remote controllers the UR UAV FPV goggles and finally I've got some accessories which I'm not going to review so I'm just going to quickly go over them because you might find them useful as well. So first of all these are the GoFly motor wire clips and I've been asked about this accessory on my build video of the TBS Stardust FB5 so in case you want to secure your motor wires without using zip ties this is a pretty neat option. Next I've got the Aurora RC Tracker, which is a buzzer that has a built-in battery. This buzzer is useful in case you lose your quadcopter and the main battery gets disconnected. And the difference between this one and the ones that I previously reviewed is that first of all it's pretty budget friendly and costs $10. In addition it features an external button, so in case the buzzer is inside your build and you are not able to reach its button in order to disarm it, you can simply connect this external one and use it if needed. I also bought this motoplier from Emacs and I think that this quality looks pretty good. In case you don't have a motoplier, you should definitely consider getting one. And you don't have to get this one which is a little bit expensive and you can simply also get this one from Real ECC which costs less and actually I think that it's a little bit more comfortable to use since it features this spring in the middle. I also got a simple USB lithium ion battery charger which probably going to serve only as a backup since its output current is very low. Next I've got the Yor UAV Petstar which are universal super sticky battery pads. In this box you can find 5 of them, it cost about $13 which is less than the price of 3 oh my god oh my grips and as far as I know these pads are pretty much identical to them and I'm still debating whether I should do a review about them or not so if you're interested to know more about these battery pads please let me know. 
Finally, I bought this UV flashlight in order to cure UV glue faster. And also this box of plastic parts from RJX Hobby. And this accessory is actually pretty useful and it's going to help you to mark whether your battery is fully charged or you need to charge it. So this is going to be it for this video. And by the way, this is actually not everything that I've got. I've got at least another 10 packages waiting for me to be picked up at my parents' house. So there are plenty of reviews coming up. And as I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, if you have any questions about the items that I've shown you in this video, feel free to ask about them in the comment section down below. And I will also do my best to answer these questions when I'm going to post the review. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. And I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.